In this video, I want to show you around and what Google has added in Google Drive, and they call it Priority Drive. If you notice this up here at the top, if you have and ever wondered what it is, here's what this is. If you'll click on it, Priority Drive, the priority section of your drive, is a chance for you to select very specific documents and put them together in what they call a priority drive so that you find them right here. These workspaces stay separated. It's not creating another folder out here in your standard Google Drive. It's over here in Priority Drive. There's a couple of really interesting uses for really important items for you, for a portfolio perhaps, which is how I used it with students, for things that you absolutely need to keep together and don't want to lose. All right, so you can see and all the possibilities here. It's suggesting a couple of things for me as a workspace. I don't need these in a workspace. I've got them in another folder, so I'm gonna dismiss that suggestion. You can create a limited number of these and create another one and see if we get to, you can title it, whatever you wanna title it, and it'll create that for you. When you click on these dots or when it opens up, it'll ask you to add files. You can look through your Google Drive and add whatever files you wanna to add to this. I don't really need any files in this one right now, but if I did, Here's Drive, here's Shared With Me, here's anything I wanted to put in there and say done. So when I need all the mascot logos because I'm making sports programs and I went through and looked these up, they're all, I've got 25 file limit in this workspace and I have 24 logos for whatever comes up when I need to make that and I wanna put in their logo and our logo and recognize who it is that they are. I've also got blank diagrams. Every time I come across something, I think, hey, I'm gonna use that concept definition map. I want this template. I wanna use the clean version of that. Here they all are from anywhere that I found them. When I need that idea, I can get it right here. When I'm looking for something, I say, I don't know what I wanna do. I come to these blank diagrams and I see what's gonna work for me. And they're all right here in this priority section of the drive. I also have it for all of my syllabi, for all of my classes. Here's last year's. So this year, when I'm ready to think about it again, I can open each one of these and rename it and put it in a different priority drive for this year's syllabus for that class. And when I get all done with these, and I don't need 2021 anymore, I can click on these dots and I can hide that workspace. I don't need to remove it because maybe I want to go back and look at them again. I, I'm, I don't remove things, but I don't have to look at it anymore and I can hide it. That's going to put it down here with hidden workspaces. And you can see I have several of these. Here's another set of syllabus copies that I have. Here's programs from different things that I did. Here's money tracking. Here's planning. And if you want those and click on it, you can unhide it. You can get back to any of those that you need. So this is the priority drive. And it's a place to save things in their own special little 25 file number group and have them just for very specific purposes. This isn't necessarily a class, but it could be. It's, it's gonna be documents that go together around whatever topic you choose, but that's a priority drive. As I mentioned, I use this with seniors and encourage them to put things together as part of a portfolio. Here's a resume, here's letterhead if they have it, here's a typing test screenshot that they're proud of because we still work on typing. Here's examples of their work that they might want to save that they've got all in one place. So when they go to transfer this to another email account, when they graduate and their account on our domain isn't active, they've got these 10 or 15 items that they really want to keep and not every assignment from every class all through high school because not all of those are their best work or things that colleges or employers are going to be interested in. So here's portfolios, here's places to put things so that you can find them and organize them more easily. That's priority drive. Give it a try, see what you can put in there and notice how, how streamlined this is. It's not nearly as overwhelming as looking in your drive with all of your files and all of your folders and all of the nested. This is very quickly, these things have a priority and they have their own little spot in your Google Drive. So that's priority drive. Hope that was helpful.